Hello everybody, this is Zax through 99 In this video, you'll see me feed my Mexican red knee tarantula. And you'll see the fight for survival for both my hungry spider and the desperate roach. You'll see the fight, the battle. And as Soda, my Mexican red knee tarantula wins and begins to eat her meal, she does something more interesting and cocoons the remaining carcass to the dirt so that she can rip it apart piece by piece and devour every last morsel. It's all coming up right here on my channel. Hello, welcome back everybody, and here you can see Soda, my Mexican red knee spider, is about to get fed again. I'm trying to feed her about once a week, but a lot of weeks she is not interested in food and lets Dubious crawl right in front of her and right by her with no interest whatsoever. But here, she definitely makes an effort to go after the Dubia, but the Dubia very wisely crawls under some moss. And Soda, I guess having stage fright, retreats back to her corner. Now this is a little hole that she dug out under a coffee can, but I removed the coffee can to film her and to feed her. Now if you watch carefully, you'll see the dirt moving, but that is actually the Dubia Roach trying to get itself in darkness and get out of the light. Dubia Roaches are very nocturnal, maybe more so than tarantulas, and it will do everything it can to get out of the light. A lot of times these dubias, when I put them or drop them right in front of a tarantula, they will run right underneath a tarantula looking for darkness. But here, Soda is definitely aggressive and gets the dubia roach right underneath her. I was kind of surprised when I zoomed in that I didn't already see her using her fangs and her palpi to work the spider. Now the palpi are her two arms and right in front of her mouth that are used to manage and manipulate soil and to help uh, manage prey. They are not one of their eight legs. Now palpi is short for petapalps. Here, from this angle, I was kind of surprised to see it looks like the doobie is crawling underneath her thorax towards her abdomen from underneath, but it looks like Soda didn't want any part of that. I believe their abdomen is pretty sensitive and a very fragile area. But here, when she rises up, you can see her fangs definitely has this dubia roach under control. And even though the dubia is trying to twist and break free, Soda definitely has a good grasp on her. Now the best chance for the dubia to get away is to use its legs and against the soil and get enough traction there to get away from Soda. And as you can see, Soda pulling her legs up from the substrate here. And I just found this very interesting, this battle. Now, Soda moved around quite a bit trying to handle this Dubia Roach while she was trying to suck the life out of it. I don't know why she was moving around over such a wide area. But here's a good angle from the top showing Soda's fangs working to get underneath the exterior, the hard exterior shell that protects the doobie on the top side. And the fangs, actually, if you look at pictures of the parts of a spider, underneath those big fangs that you can see on the underneath side are real small teeth. And what a tarantula will do is press its fangs towards a body part or towards an insect like this and basically crush its prey between its fangs and those real small teeth on the underside of her fangs. Pretty interesting here. Now I was trying to capture multiple angles of Soda doing the best I could with just the home camcorder that I have. Now this camcorder that I have is only about a hundred and eighty dollar camcorder that I bought at Best Buy a couple of years ago. So definitely not the fanciest uh, piece of equipment I can have. Here it looked really weird as Soda is not moving any of her right side legs as she holds the prey up. And I believe here she's holding the prey up and trying to hold the prey up so that the bug doesn't have any chance at all of escaping. 
by getting traction with its legs against the soil. And here, Soda continues to work its fangs, probably injecting venom and continuing to crush this poor Dubia. I'm telling you, these videos that I'm doing, when I go back and watch them on my full screen monitor, almost makes me feel sorry for the poor Dubia Roach. But in nature, it is survival of the fittest. Here, I almost thought the Dubia was dead. I can't see its legs flailing anymore. And I watch Soda pick up the bug and maneuver it back towards its corner where had it dug the hole under the coffee can. But here, again, I start to see the Dubia Roach's legs flailing again. And Soda instinctively knows exactly what to do to hold it up above the soil to make sure there is like zero chance of it escaping its jaws or its fangs. I don't know, watching this and put myself in the shoes of that poor Dubia Roach, I think I'd almost rather be eaten by a shark in the ocean than to be eaten in this manner that a tarantula eats its prey. And it gets worse as this video goes on. I was lucky enough to capture some great angles with my camcorder, even through the glass of the terrarium. You can see the bug's antenna flailing, and Soda continuing to drag it wherever it wants. Another good shot, you can see the head of the Dubia, its legs continuing to flail, and you can almost see some of its legs look like they're almost dead. A couple of those legs look like they're not even moving. Like the one right in the middle, it looks like it's curled up. Probably the venom from soda is taking effect, and any uh, lifeblood from that bug is being sucked out as well. Here, when I first saw this, I was like, what the heck is going on here? I was like, Soda, what is she doing? I couldn't figure it out. I'd never seen this uh, from Soda before. And at first, uh, you know, because I've, I'm a new tarantula owner, I at first thought her, that Soda was doing some kind of a victory dance here uh, over, you know, whooping this prey and having a meal. But then when I looked closer, I could see that she was using her back spinnerets, which are attached to the attached to the back of her abdomen to lay silk on the substrate here. Now I don't know exactly why this Mexican red knee tarantula is doing this. From what I understood, they are a very limited silk laying spider. They don't spin a lot of silk, but here you can definitely see she is putting some strands of silk out on the substrate so that she has a bigger kind of a foundation of some sort now my best guess here, I could be wrong, my best guess, because I'm not a tarantula expert, everything I'm telling you guys uh, about the palpi and everything like that, and what I'm telling you guys is stuff I just read on a website uh, right before I made this video. So she continue, she's continues to lay silk here on the substrate here to stick it together, and she did this for probably 10 to 15 minutes, but I did shorten this video so that it is a manageable video to watch on YouTube. But yeah, if you guys know why exactly she's doing this, uh, let me know down in the comments below. My best guess is so that she can lay the bug down and the bug will kind of stick to the ground. I don't know. But anyway, here you can definitely see a good view of the juices from the bugs and the fangs working her parts of her body into her mouth. Now, I thought I had read somewhere that spiders like this, I think on a nature program, like a, something on TV or something, I thought I read that spiders like suck just juice out of a bug like this, but it is definite, definitely apparent in this video, especially here in a few minutes, you'll see that uh, Soda is doing more than just drinking juice. She is actually eating chunks off this bug. That poor Dubia, I believe, is dead at this point. Now, this is about an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes into it after I threw that Dubia uh, roach into the terrarium. And here you can see a good shot. That hard shell of the Dubia is being broken apart. And it does look like one of the Dubia's legs is still moving. Can you imagine still being alive 
and being eaten alive like this? What a way to go, huh? Soda continues to use, you can see those things there for her size are very big and very powerful. As they tear apart this bug. Soda is definitely having herself a feast here. You can see that part of that bug, it looks like its head now has been completely removed and eaten. And you can see just parts of that bug being shoved in to the spider with its fangs. And again, those two smaller legs right between her outside legs there, those are the palpi that I'm talking about. I think the full scientific term for them is pedipalps, or palpi for short. But those are not one of the spider's eight legs. Those are, again, used to manipulate soil and help dig out holes and, and tunnels and stuff like that burrows and it's also used to help manage prey as she's doing right here especially when the prey is flailing and uh, trying to capture prey but this bug is definitely not getting away here now right here is what I felt lucky to capture on film here I was kind of freaking out going what the hell is soda doing here but you can definitely see those back to spinnerets laying strands of silk around what's left of the dubia roach now this Dubia Roach is definitely dead. So I was like, what is she doing? Is she saving it for later? Much like a lot of spiders, you know, web up uh, a bug to eat it later. But then I found out she stuck it to this piece of uh, substrate that she stuck together before. And now look at her work her fangs underneath the out exterior shell of this dead Dubia Roach. And watch her use her legs and all of her strength here to absolutely pull that outside shell off and expose all of the inside parts of what's left of this dubia roach. Look at her using her strength there to pull that outside shell off to get to the internal organs and parts what's left of that dubia. Oh, there are legs coming free there. There are all kinds of internal parts coming apart. This is a machine at work, for sure. And it's all to stay alive. It's all to feed. I thought this was definitely interesting. Definitely lucky to capture video that turned out this good with a cheap camcorder through the glass of a terrarium. I mean, I haven't even cleaned the glass. It's a pretty dirty terrarium, so I was pretty surprised that the picture uh, quality came out this well. Soda gets in position here after pulling the outside shell off, and look at all those parts there that she is now going to go ahead and shove in and digest. Pretty good angle there on those body parts of the bug being digested by soda. This is definitely wicked and not for the faint of heart. Here again, from a side view, you can see what's left of that dubia roach. And at this point, if you didn't know exactly what it was to start with, I don't think you would have any chance of guessing what that bug was when it started. Here I got a little clearer shot as I put my camcorder inside the terrarium to get a backside view and watch Soda work the bug and finish her up. Now the hairs you see on her abdomen, those are barbed hairs that a tarantula will use against predators. They will use its hind legs to uh, knock off hairs. Some, some tarantulas will, I guess, rub that backside against the prey, and those are barbed hairs that will definitely irritate a predator. Here, I pick up what that uh, stuck-together substrate she stuck together to show you what's left of the bug with a pair of tweezers. And here is the monster that is Soda, my new Mexican red knee tarantula. Be sure you guys leave comments down below. Be sure you rate this video. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This has been Zaxter99. Take care, everybody.